at art-classes.com teaches one 8x10 drawing in multiple parts. Each leaf in the image is taught in two videos. One is sped up and contains verbal instruction. The other is a longer real-time video that doesn't have any sound that you can color along with and you can actually listen to your own favorite inspirational music while you draw. Did I mention there are three hours of video in the class? The demonstration piece is colored with polychromos pencils on Stonehenge craft paper. However, other good brands of pencils like Prismacolor or Luminance are perfectly fine. A Nina Desert Storm or other toned paper may be used. The line drawing is provided to be printed onto the final piece, so you don't need to learn how to draw the leaves yourself. In a bonus lesson at the end of class, so I'm just to train that skill because it's a really, I think it's really difficult to do um, imaginary drawings, especially for me because I'm used to doing photorealistic drawings based on reference photos, and I didn't have a reference photo this time, so that was pretty fun. I am using my Strathmore Toned Grey sketchbook and my Faber-Castell Polychromos colored pencils and a white Caran d'Ache Luminance pencil. And I really like the combination of those brands. I think the white Caran d'Ache Luminance is better for blending than the white Polychromos. And it's more opaque as well. So. That's why I use um, the white Caran d'Ache in combination with my polychromos. I will put a list of materials and um, the links to Amazon where you can buy them in the description. So have a look there if you want to know exactly what I'm using and which materials I recommend. So for the drawing itself I started out by um, sketching the outlines with my white um, luminance pencil and then I just started placing colors and layering it was a just a little experiment I didn't have an idea in mind when I started so it was just a go with the flow process if you know what I mean I did want the middle to be the darkest and the outsides to be the lightest, so you create um, an ombre effect. And I really like that effect with colored pencils, and ex especially on this um, paper, which is toned. So the colors really stand out. Also in the end I used my Sakura white jelly roll pen to create um, sparkles because I like sparkles and on this paper as well they really stand out very well so I added some sparkles and I added uh, a shadow at the bottom so um, I could make the drawing look more 3D. And then the drawing was finished. I hope you like it guys. Thank you so much for the support. And thank you for the great feedback um, you gave me on my previous video. 